Welcome to the Succulent Home, you guys, with me, Melissa. I'm gonna do one quick little video for you. I got these um, Echeveria, they're Graptocedium, sedum, actually. Graptocedium hybrid um, ghost. This is the ghosty, okay? I haven't, I had these grown beautiful in my front yard in my last house, but this house, um, I haven't been able to be successful. So I'm gonna, you guys know that th there was a aloe that was in this pot that took a nosedive. It just, it just, it didn't work. So with that said, I'm going to put all of these um, ghosties in here and see how they grow and take off from in here. I'm gonna sit them a little lower because they do grow to get leggy and they get a lot of like um, babies and stuff when they're growing healthy. So I'm not gonna put them too high. I'm gonna have them a little bit lower like that. Look, I got a little surprise in here. <clears throat> Somewhere else. Clean up all this debris. Get my knee out of the shot. I really love these. You know who's really good at these too is um, Emily. I really love these because they can change color depending on how they're stressing or you know how much sunlight they're getting or whatever. backyard where they don't get direct sunlight but just enough sun to help them not stretch out and for some reason if I see that it's not doing good right here I'll just change it I'll just I'll move it. That's the nice thing about potting in pots as well. If you don't like something in your yard, you can, you're able to move things around. Shout out to Emily at the greenhouse for always having such a beautiful yard. Inspiration, I tell you, inspiration. I get so inspired even when I go to a nursery. And for those of my friends who can't leave your house, I try to record when I do go so you can get a experience, a virtual experience. Just making sure all of the roots are probably covered. There you go. Okay, let me get some top dressing. Because I do want to top dress that.
actually I'm going to put the white rock. The white rock used to be my favorite. It's not my favorite so much anymore, only because when you water, you have to do it so, so like lightly because the water, if you do it too fast, then all of the soil ends up moving to the top. It just doesn't look as pretty. You don't see the white. I guess I could always like keep on adding, but. seashell right here that would be cute I'm also going to add a little bit of this green let me go get some more white I got some white a little bit more I got some of these glass marble stones. I think I got these from Dollar Tree. It looks, I use these for the fairy garden, the bird bath. So these will look cute. Sprinkled along on top. I'm not gonna put too many right there just because um, I'm gonna try to add just a little bit more. That looks cute. Just trying to put some to where we don't see too much of the soil. I'm going to rinse it off and wet it, and then it should be complete. This is um, the arrangement from this um, angle. I love it. I love the colors. I like that I found that um, bubble glass and um, the white stone. All it needs is that little seashell, a little good rinse off on that pot, and it is a stunner. Well, until the next video, I pray you're just inspired by just a small succulent today or a cacti. May you be inspired by God's beauty that is all around us and may it minister to you. In Jesus' name, I love you. God bless. Bye.